Welcome back to the 10th part in this series on this to-do list application with RESTful API and in this one we're going to take the data from our model it currently has no data so we'll need to create some data uh, take that data from our model and do what's called serializing it or in other words con converting it from data in the database to uh, a thing where we can actually uh, present that data as JSON, so going from the database to a JSON format, and be able to create a response uh, for that in our Django view that we have at the moment. So to, to get started with that, I think the first thing that I want to do is create some test data. So at the moment you can see our existing API here, and all it re returns with at the moment is if we go to our uh, views, you can see what it returns, and this is just a hard-coded dictionary. Now, to replace this, we want to uh, effectively generate our dictionary based on the data that's in the model, and the REST framework uh, allows us to do that quite easily. But first, let's go ahead and create some of that test data. Uh, so I'm just going to go Django admin shell uh, from todo.models import to do elements really bad model name, I don't know why I called it that, but uh, let's just go with it for now. And maybe I'll rename that in a bit, but let's do to do.objects.create so that we can add a new element to our database. Uh, and the to do text is going to be equal to uh, finish this. So this is a to do item on our to do list, essentially, that, that's how it's going to eventually appear in our front end. And I'll say done is equal to false, because re remember that's a Boolean value. Uh, if you're not sure, you can always go back and have a look at the model itself, and that will sort of tell you what it expects. Now, going back to the views, you can see I've created that model there, so we have that object in the database. Uh, so now that I've done that, I can quit out of that. And I'm going to start the development server again, Django admin run server and that should give us the data to be able to play with. Uh, so let's go ahead and try it at the moment. Let's try to import the model, so from to do dot models, the same import we did in the shell over there, and I'm going to import that same model where we just put the data to do elements. And if I try to get this data at the moment out of the database and respond with it, well we can see what happens. So if I do to do's, is equal to to do elements uh, dot objects dot all. Let's get all the objects out of the database, and I don't know. Let's let's just return that. So, as a REST framework response object, I'm going to return all the to dos out of the database. Now, remember, this is just uh, a list of objects at the moment. Uh, so let's go go ahead and see what that does instead. Uh, so now our development server is refresh, you can see we get an error. Now that's sort of expected because this is a list of objects. So it says uh, object of type to do elements is not JSON serializable. Now this sort of gives us a, a hint as to what we're missing really. So the JSON serializable part implies that we actually need what's called a, a serializer or a Django REST framework model serializer. Uh, so let's go ahead and add that. And instead of importing the model here, I'm just going to be importing the serializer. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to, for now, get rid of this because we don't need it. And by the way, it's okay to have two return statements on the line, but the second one's going to be ignored if you do that, uh, just sort of for testing purposes. Now, so if I create a new file, I'm going to create a new file called serializers, serializers.py, and in this one it's going to have a class called uh, to do serializer and in this case it's going to inherit from serializers dot model serializer so we have a model that we want to serialize that has our data in it and now I'm going to go ahead and import this this serializers which isn't defined yet uh, from rest framework import serializers and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add what's called a meta class. Now a serializer, or more, more specifically a model serializer, has a meta class and it assumes that this class is going to provide information about 
the model which this serializer class is related to. Uh, so I'm going to provide model, and that's going to be equal to the model we want to serialize to do elements. And of course, I need to import that. So I'll go ahead and do from to do dot uh, models import to do elements. And I'm also going to add a field here, or fields. Now this expects a tuple, so I'm going to define what on the model I want to be serialized. Now if we go, go here, we can use to do text and done. But if you remember, sort of, the Django models, although I haven't explicitly defined one in, in here, in the models file, there is always an ID that is put on uh, to every Django model so that you have that unique identifier for each object in the database. And now you can see that if you go and look through the mig migrations, for example. If I go to, uh, I think this initial migration should show it. So you can see we've got an ID as well as to do text and done. Uh, but that, that's not really important. All we need to know is that we can say uh, ID. This is a string, by the way, so I need a string ID and I'm going to say to do text and I'm also going to say done. So in other words, I want to serialize everything in the model. Then I'm going to go back over to the view and now all we need to do, I think I've imported everything, let's, let's just check. So yeah, I've got the model and the serializers. So let's go back over to the view and import the serializer from to do dot serializers. I want to import to do serializer. I think it's spelled it like that. What I'm going to say here then is I'm going to do a serializer is equal to the serializer object. So I'm going to say to do serializer. And then all I'm going to do, well that's really all we need to do. So we now have a defined serializer instance and this is going to give us our data. So all we need to do to respond with uh, a dictionary essentially is going to be, I'm going to say serializer.data. So serializer.data should return us a dictionary of the data in that model. I'm just going to go back over here and refresh again. And so now you see we have to do text and done. Now this API is to a point where it's almost working uh, but there are still a couple of bugs with it so we'll look at that in the next video.